Imagine a world where the race to dominate the electric vehicle or EV market is not just fierce, but a full-on sprint. In this riveting tale, we explore how China has not only joined this race, but is leading it, leaving other global giants struggling to keep up. How did this happen? What secret ingredient is China using to concoct this winning formula? And what does this mean for the future of the automotive industry? Let's set the scene. China has taken the lead in EV production by infusing its business with massive state funding. This strategy, now becoming more familiar in the West, comes as part of a growing trade war, pushing the US and Europe to reconsider their industrial strategies. But while Western politicians are attempting to curtail China's rise, the nation has already made groundbreaking advancements in EVs, challenging global players like Tesla. The twist? A foreign company played a crucial role in jumpstarting China's domestic EV industry, a surprising move for a country known for its protectionist policies. Early on, former government minister Wang Gang championed the electric car movement. Recognizing the dual economic and environmental benefits, this advocacy laid a solid foundation. But it was Tesla's entry into local manufacturing in 2019 that sparked a comprehensive EV supply chain and ignited consumer enthusiasm. This wave of innovation saw numerous EV manufacturers cropping up, each striving to outdo the others with cutting-edge designs, software, and technology. The competition was brutal, with only the strongest surviving to face intense price wars and fierce rivalry in 2024. Meanwhile, Western governments are scrambling to replicate China's success by using subsidies to bolster their own EV industries. But here's the kicker. Beijing's willingness to let businesses fail while nurturing the new energy vehicle sector has made all the difference. Unlike the stagnant attempts of China's Commercial Aircraft Corp to rival Boeing and Airbus, the EV industry has thrived under this tough love approach. China's strategy wasn't about creating a few national champions. Instead, it let a hundred EV makers bloom, fostering a diverse and competitive market. This approach has allowed companies like BYD to sell electric hatchbacks at astonishingly low prices. And it propelled Li Auto's luxury SUVs to the top of the charts. While Apple abandoned its EV ambitions, Xiaomi's founder Lei Jun has fans eagerly awaiting the company's new SU7 EV. Among these burgeoning brands, some may emerge as the next Toyota. BYD, now the world's largest seller of electric vehicles, outpaced Tesla with over 3 million cars produced last year. China's economic benefits from this boom extend beyond vehicle production to innovations in battery and supply chain optimization. A government-imposed whitelist once kept foreign battery makers out, but now domestic giants like BYD and CATL dominate the global market with a combined share of 53.1%. The Chinese government's shift away from infrastructure and real estate-driven growth is evident in the EV sector's expected contribution to GDP, projected to rise to 2.7% by 2026. While this won't entirely fill the gap left by the property market's collapse, it's a significant leap from 2020. Despite barriers like high tariffs from the US and the European Union, which cite Beijing subsidies and overcapacity concerns, the demand-driven growth in China's EV market remains strong. China's need to combat urban pollution drove its early EV strategy, with generous subsidies fostering a demand cycle rather than an oversupply glut. This contrasts sharply with the US's approach, which relied on market forces to determine EV viability. China's consistent subsidies and support for private sector innovation created a sense of inevitability around EV adoption far outpacing the hesitant Western strategies. To understand this narrative better, let's delve deeper into the strategies that propelled China to the forefront of the EV revolution. Beijing's method wasn't to pick winners and losers, but to create an environment where innovation could flourish. By allowing numerous companies to compete, only the most innovative and efficient survived, creating a robust and dynamic market. Consider the role of Tesla in this saga. When Tesla started manufacturing in China, it wasn't just setting up shop, it was revolutionizing the entire supply chain. This move catalyzed local manufacturers to step up their game, pushing them towards higher standards of production and innovation. 
The result, a thriving EV ecosystem where competition drives continuous improvement. Furthermore, China's approach to batteries, a critical component of EVs, showcases its strategic foresight. Initially, a whitelist restricted foreign battery manufacturers, giving local companies a head start. But by 2019, this list was abolished, allowing companies like BYD and CATL to establish a dominant presence. These firms now hold more than half of the global market share for EV batteries, a testament to China's effective blend of protectionism and open competition. As we look towards the future, the implications of China's dominance in the EV market are profound. The country is not just a participant in the global automotive industry, it's a leader. The economic impact is significant, with the EV sector expected to contribute substantially to China's GDP. More importantly, this success sets the stage for future advancements in related fields like renewable energy, biopharmaceuticals, and artificial intelligence. Western countries, particularly the US and Europe, are watching closely. They face a dilemma, how to compete with a nation that has perfected the art of industrial strategy. While subsidies are a part of the answer, experts warn that they are not a panacea. True success comes from fostering a culture of innovation and competition, much like China has done. So, what's the takeaway from this electrifying tale? It's that the race to dominate the EV market is about more than just cars. It's about economic power, technological innovation, and the ability to shape the future of our planet. And in this race, China is not just competing, it's leading the charge. Now, let's explore the human side of the story. Picture the bustling factories in the Yangtze River Delta, where workers assemble the latest EV models with precision and speed. These aren't just cars, they're symbols of a new era of mobility and sustainability. In the offices of BYD and CATL, engineers and designers are constantly pushing the envelope, developing batteries that last longer, charge faster, and are more environmentally friendly. At the consumer level, the enthusiasm for EVs in China is palpable. Streets are filled with sleek, silent electric cars, from compact city vehicles to luxurious SUVs. Charging stations are ubiquitous, a testament to the government's investment in infrastructure. And as consumers enjoy the benefits of lower running costs and reduced emissions, their demand fuels further innovation and competition among manufacturers. On the global stage, China's EV industry is making waves. International car shows feature Chinese brands prominently. Moreover, geopolitical tensions and trade barriers pose significant hurdles for China's global ambitions. High tariffs and protectionist policies in the US and Europe threaten to limit market access for Chinese EVs slowing their international expansion. China's rise in the EV market is a multifaceted story of innovation, competition, and strategic foresight. It's a narrative that highlights the nation's ability to harness its resources and talent to drive economic and technological progress. As the world grapples with the challenges of climate change and environmental sustainability, China's experience offers valuable lessons and insights. And as the race to dominate the EV market continues, one thing is clear, China is not just a contender, it's a trailblazer, leading the charge into a new era of transportation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.